Thank you, Father. Come on now. Here's what we're going to do. <sighs> Would you, if you're sick in your body, is anybody here sick today? You have a sickness, a disease, any pain in your body? Put your hand up. All right. Put your hand on your heart right now. Put your hand on your heart right now. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask Lynn to come. She's going to pray and she's going to take authority. My wife, Lynn, she's going to come and pray and take authority over all the sickness, over with the works of the devil. And God's going to release healing and miracles in this place right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we just come to you, Father God, because you have given us authority, Father, and your glory is the authority. And Father, we just command, Father, each one who is sick in this place today, everyone who has their hand on their heart, God, that you would just touch their body from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. God, we know that nothing, Lord, that is in us, Lord, is anything, Lord, if it's sickness, it's not from you, God. It is from the enemy and we are believers in faith today and father even if there is some among us that aren't a believer but a sick in body God that you would heal them to prove yourself to them oh God so father in the name of Jesus we thank you Lord God for healing our bodies Lord we contend Lord God and believe because we believe it to be your will so father we just speak healing in this place in the name of Jesus and we give you the glory Hallelujah. Come on now, begin to praise him, begin to worship him, begin to tell him, say, thank you, Lord, for healing me. Just say, thank you, Lord. I receive, I receive, I receive, I walk in, I walk in your provision. I walk in and step into your provision. You've already made it possible. I walk in it and I step in it in Jesus' name. Come on, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over sickness and disease, which is not of God. Which is not of God, we command healing right now in the name of Jesus. Healing right now in the name of Jesus. Healing right now. Pain, pain, pain in the name of Jesus. Come on, turn your neck. If you had stiffness in your neck, just turn it right now. Just turn it right now. Just begin to turn it. Come on, right now in Jesus' name. Begin to check for pain. Begin to check for pain. Begin to just check for pain. Blood pressure. We command in the name of Jesus to normalize in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Every sickness and every disease, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, just begin to um, take authority. Exercise the authority God has given you over situations in your life that are harassing you that are not of God, but are harassing you. The enemy is trying to hinder. Paul said, Satan has hindered us, but Paul prevailed. He pressed through in the name of Jesus. Come on now, Satan will try to hinder you. The word means he'll try to block you. He'll try to stop you in the name of Jesus. But we're not to be ignorant of his schemes and strategies. We are to know the way he works and take authority because we know who we are in Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you're here today and you know that you're not in that place spiritually that you need to be with God, you're not really spiritually where you should be. I want to just ask you, if you're here and you know that's you, today is a day when God wants to change your life. And I want to ask you to respond to what the Holy Spirit is doing. Will you just, right now, if you're here and you just say, you know what, I really need to surrender my life to Jesus. Maybe you, you've done it in the past. Perhaps you've never done it. It doesn't matter. But you're here and you just say, I need to surrender my life to Jesus I want to do that, and you feel that God is telling you to do that. Come on now. I want you to step out of your seat right now and come stand up here. I want to pray for you before you go. Just come right now. Don't let anyone hinder you. Don't let anything get in the way, but you just feel there's things in my life that are just keeping me from serving God with all of my heart, holding me back. See, I'm not convinced that just saying a prayer and asking Jesus into our heart is all that he wants to do. 
I know it's not. I know that we can say that and we can mean that in our hearts. But there's so much He wants to do in our lives if we'll let Him. He's so awesome. He's so good. And you don't have to understand what God is doing or what's happening in your life. You don't need to understand fully. You just need to believe that God is good. That the enemy is the one who's trying to prevent you from experiencing the promises of God. Today is your day to experience the freedom and the breakthrough that he has for your life. Today is your day. I want to ask you to do something. I want you just right now, if everyone in this building, would you just close your eyes for a moment, please? Would you just lift your hands? Would you just begin to call upon the name of Jesus? Just call upon the name of Jesus. Just call upon the name of Jesus. No other name. No other name. No other name. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your daughter. We just release the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit upon her life. We release the power of the Holy Spirit right now, Lord, upon her life, Jesus. Upon her life. In the name of Jesus, we release the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, Lord. We release the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Jesus. The power and the anointing, we release your authority. We take authority and we command breakthrough. We command breakthrough. We command complete, unmitigated, Father, victory in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we command breakthrough right now. Breakthrough, the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be filled. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive the breakthrough that God has for your life. Receive the breakthrough that God has for your life in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for your daughter in Jesus' name. Lord, that you would experience breakthrough in every area, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The power of the kingdom of God. The power of the kingdom of God. We release the power of the king's dominion. The power of the king's dominion today. In Jesus' name, over every circumstance, over every situation. In the name of Jesus. Over every circumstance, over every situation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I release your power and your anointing upon your daughter. I pray, Father, that you would manifest yourself to her. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, come right now. Come, Holy Spirit, right now. Come, Holy Spirit, right now. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself to your daughter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for touching her. Thank you for showing her who you are in the fullness of your power right now. I just release the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it burn as a fire. Let it burn as a fire in her soul, in her spirit and body right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for who you are. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're not going to take no for an answer when you've said yes. When God has said yes, we're not going to take no for an answer. We're not going to settle for anything less than everything. Nothing less than everything. Nothing less than everything in the name of Jesus. Nothing less than everything. Thank you for your people. Thank you for your servants. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your son. Thank you for his life, Father. I thank you for blessing him. I thank you for calling him. I thank you for moving in his life. I thank you, Lord, that you have created every person on the face of the earth to know you and to walk in the authority that you have given to us. Thank you, Jesus. You restored the power and the authority. You said all authority in heaven and on earth is mine. Bless your son. Bless him, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, bless him mightily. Change him and draw him and set him on fire. For your glory, Jesus. For your glory, Jesus. For your glory. For your glory, Jesus. Thank you. For your glory, Lord. Thank you for your daughter. 
Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we bless her and we speak, Father, breakthrough in every area of her life that the doors that you want open would open up quickly and fully in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. I worship you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. Come on now. Let's begin to worship him. Let's begin to praise him. Let's press into the Lord. He's here. He's here. Everything we need. Everything we need. He has it. He has it. He's our answer. He's our everything. He's our everything. He's our everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let me ask you a question. Um, the, your one daughter that was here, she was kind of standing in the sun, and that was her with the flag. Is that right? And what, how old is she? Six. Six. No, so, uh, seven. She's seven. Okay. I feel like, uh, where's your wife? Where is she? Rita? Yeah. Can you just call? Get her. Stepped out for a minute. Rita? Just come here for a second. When he stepped out, she was talking. Okay. And she's, um, your daughter's in the back, I'm assuming? She's she? in the Sunday school. Too. In the Sunday school, okay. And then, and just so I know, the come on over here, please. I just felt very strongly the Lord gave me a word for your, that, your one daughter that was standing here, and she had the flag. She said the small one. Um, and her name again is? Beatrice? Okay. Yeah, I really felt um, that the Lord said, I put a spirit of justice in her. Um, and I really feel that there's some things that God is saying that she's, he's going to set her up for in terms of leadership that has to do with justice. Um, it's almost like I see legislation, laws, rules, those type of things taking place. But there's even some things, I see, like the Lord showed me even, this may sound funny, but you'll know, if it's a Lord, it's like I saw her even now, and she maybe she even if she sees an animal not being treated properly, it's like she just doesn't like that. There's some things in her just say, you know, that's not right. You can't do that. Don't be cruel. Don't be like that. Don't be mean. So there's even a desire I believe the Lord has put in her heart even now for justice, and uh, for you know equity and and fairness and that type of thing. And I, I really feel like there's a strong call upon her life. I'm not sure if she's going to be a lawyer, um, a politician, or both, but I feel there's a call upon her life very strong that has to do with justice and implementing uh, righteous statutes. And uh, it's, it's going to be, as you see, the hand of the Lord come upon her in, in the years ahead. You're going to see that God is going to begin to prepare her in a very powerful way. So you're going to know if it's the word of the Lord. You'll see it come to pass. Amen. Amen. Does that make sense? Okay. Is that, I mean, I'm not talking about, obviously the future will tell, right? But, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want to just thank you, Father, for all that you're doing in our lives and all you did at the cross. Because, Jesus, you did everything that needed to be done. You said, it is finished. Case closed. Thank you, Father. Help us now to avail ourselves, Lord, of what you did, what you did, because it's our inheritance. It's what you've made available to us. Help us not to just take lightly, flippantly, or to avoid what you've done. Help us to press in and access all the benefits of our salvation. Father, I just thank you in the name of Jesus and I speak blessing over your people today. Let this be a season and a time when people arise into the glory. When they, Father, lift up their heads and they begin to fight and contend for what you want to do. Father, let those who have been trodden upon arise, stand up, shake off the dust, and move forward into what you have planned and purposed for their lives in them and not only in them but through them to others Father this is the generation that so desperately needs to encounter you and Father we thank you for what you did on the earth when you sent your son you went around doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil 
We thank you for your plans and purposes to do that today. That's your will. You have already commissioned us to do so. Same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is in us. And it doesn't matter whether people believe it or whether they've experienced it now or not. It is a fact based upon your word. And I pray that it would become a reality experientially that we would begin to see a pressing into the deep places, into the deep heart of Almighty God. Because we realize that these are evil days, Father. The darkness is getting darker. And even though you said that darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people, you also said in the last days you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh. And we thank you then, no matter how dark the darkness may get, you are greater than the darkness. You have a people in whom you have deposited the light of your glory. And the light of your glory shall shine forth. Even as Paul said that the Lord has made us a light to the nations. Father, we are your lights in the dark places. Without us, the nations will remain in darkness. This province will remain in darkness. And the Lord would say, sometimes we think, can it even get worse than this and the Lord would say yes it can get worse than this and it shall for I am the Lord your God who has called you I am the Lord your God who has commissioned you and I am the Lord your God who has made available to you all that you need to walk in my glory and in my power and I am calling my people in this hour to begin to recognize the demands of your discipleship I am calling you to begin to walk in that place that I desire for you. That place where you will know me and experience me. And you will walk in my authority and in my glory once again. For I have a plan to bless and not curse. I have a plan to reach many, to build up and not tear down. I have a plan to heal the nations. And my plan is you Christ in you the hope of glory Christ in you the light as you go forth knowing me walking in my manifest presence you will see my hand upon your life confirming the truth of the message with signs and wonders following. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we just thank you, God, for the word, Father, that's so available here, God, that we have your word, Lord God. And, Father, we've been given your word today, Lord God. So, Father, we just thank you that we would take what we have eaten and we would say it is good and we would act upon the words that you've deposited in our hearts, God, that we would go out and, Father, transition from here to the next level, Lord. It's time to transition to the next level. It's time, Christians. It's time, church, to transition to the next level, not to stay where you're at any longer, not to re regress, but to go forward in me, for it is time. I say it is time and many of you have known this for a long time but you are still sitting and waiting and waiting but I tell you it is time the time for transition is at hand the time to go forth is now the time to go is now I will be with you I will give you wisdom if you ask me for wisdom I will give you wisdom if you ask me for understanding I will give you understanding if you ask me how I will show you how the Holy Spirit within you will teach you all the things that you need to know if you have ears to hear if you have ears to hear what the Spirit would say listen closely 
Listen closely because the Spirit wants to speak to you. The Spirit wants to reveal the revelations of the heart of the Father to you. He wants to use you because it is the light that will save this lost generation. And the younger generation will arise. It's time for the younger generation to arise and take hold of me and to go forth and spread the news, the good news of the gospel of the kingdom. Father, we praise you today. God, we give you glory, Lord. We have the keys to the kingdom. Father, give us wisdom, Lord. Help us not to lag behind. Help us not to look at our problems any longer. But we look at you, God, because you are the answer to every situation that we are walking through today. Anything that we are going through. And Father, we know many are going through terrible times and terrible things. But God, you are still yet bigger. And Father, we acknowledge that your grace is sufficient. Father, help us to tap into that sufficiency today. God, give us visions, Lord. Give us dreams, Lord God. Father, give us a rhema word, Lord God, from your throne. God, that we can be effective, Lord. Father, help us not to just talk out of the flesh and say things out of the flesh, but that our words may be few, Lord God. That we would listen and we would speak forth your words, even as you walk the earth. God, with the Father close communication with the Father. You spoke those things that the Father gave you to speak and we have the Holy Spirit within us and we can do the same. Father, in you, God. Father, in meekness and in humility, God. Father, we praise you. Father, we know that good things are in store for those who will enter into this, Lord God, who will tap into those resources that you offer us, oh God. So we give you glory today. We give you honor. Break bondages. Father, I just command bondages to be broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever vice that is in our lives, Lord God, that you would break it. Because, Father, that is what you did. You touched, Father God, people, and they were delivered. The woman at the well was delivered, Lord God. Father, even her whole community was. Father, they came to know you. Father God, because you spoke the word and you set them free. Nothing is too difficult. Father, nothing, no vice is too hard. Father, if we fill ourselves with you, God, we will be set free, God. We'll be set free. We give you glory, Jesus.